round eight. You can't say the fight's warmed up. <laughs> it's been in top gear from round one. I don't know how you've got it scored, Dave, if it's going to go to a decision, but it's got to be a very difficult one well, to score. I've got, I've got you, Bank. I'm not your head, but if you were to argue the other way, I wouldn't disagree. Now, Eubank's adopted the right policy, challenging for world title. He's gone out there to try and take it off an idle Ben. He isn't trying to steal it. The hunter is now being hunted at this stage of the game. Ben is fighting like a true champion. He has taken an awful lot. And that eye damage is, uh, is wicked. He's never been hurt as well. Oh, right hand and down. Chris disputing that he got caught, but... Compulsory eight. I wonder what Eubank was complaining about. This is a war in every sense of the word. Back comes Eubank, and back comes Ben. Eubank keeping himself together under the sustained assault from Nigel Ben. Staying cool and calm and collected, which is very important for him to do. Coming back with good shots of his own as well. This fight certainly lived up to all the hype and ballyhoo. And more, and more. Absolutely. Crowd getting behind Ben. Good right hand from Nigel there as well. Drew Bank. Composed. Is he ever? But full credit to both fighters. They've both gone out there as one expected and lived up to everything they predicted. Well, we have the first knockdown, remember, in this round. Then down to the right. No, Eubank, I should say. Eubank, stop complaining, get on with the fight. In Ben's corner, they're absolutely screaming frantically at him to come forward and throw shots. They seem to feel that Eubank is in a lot of distress. But Chris is the master of kidology. Once again, bring up the chance of Nigel. Nigel. A lot of venom being pumped out. The quality of the fight stayed top of the range right away through. I don't know why Eubank doesn't go straight back to his corner. It seems a daft thing to me. Second round. And let's not forget we have three American judges and American judges plates. Great store on aggression. Definitely. Here we have the ninth round. These guys are in some condition. And it seems like now Ben has had a round of success where he's put Eubanks on the floor and he's hurt him a couple of times and uh, he's now going in confidence. Eubanks has got to keep his composure, use the jab and hit Ben as he walks in because he's only got the one eye. He can't see that right hand traveling over the top. If he disguises it with a left jab, he can cross the right hand very quickly and can end the fight because the booth fighters are very, very tired. And you start wondering now whether this might possibly go the full 12. That's what Eubanks has got to do. Every time he hurts Ben, Ben stands on the ropes and calls him forward. He's got to stay away because he punches better from a distance. And he's much more damaging puncher from a distance, whereas Ben hits most devastatingly in close. He's a hooker and an uppercutter, and uh, those body, body punches in close are just lethal. He's got to stay away and hit him from a distance. If you, know, if you notice all the way through the round, uh, the rounds, Dave, the previous rounds, the only punches that have badly hurt Eubanks are the body shots. 
even the one in the last round that put him down, he still shook off the effects of it, but it's the body punches that have been hurting him up to now. He's got to keep him at distance and he won't get hit with those body shots. Next talking, winging in. Eubank complaining to referee Richard Steele, still having none of it. This is the sort of a fight that makes you an old man. There's only so many of these fights left, left in anybody. And let's not forget that Nigel Benn has had quite a few wars in the last two years. So, uh, how are we saying that, that Eubanks is fresher at this stage? I don't know, I'll tell you. The condition of both fighters is tremendous. Oh, that was a slip. No knockdown. No knockdown. Just a slip. Good refereeing from the... Eubanks scoring well with the jab this round. Oh, right. Oh, this is it. Gone. This is the end of He's it. Gone. This is the end. This is the end. Referee's going to stop in. No. Step in soon. Then trying to come back. I think this is a desperate trouble. round for the champion. He was so tired. He's really at sixes and sevens here. He's in big trouble. Eubanks has got to take this opportunity. Here we go. Is this it's, all the end of the fight? it's all over. It's all over. He said what he would do, and he has gone out and done it. I hate to say I told you so, but I did say it would be a late round stoppage for Chris Eubanks, and I'm right. What a fight. Brilliant. Absolutely lethal. Right at the top draw, up there with the best fights I've ever seen. One of the best. Fantastic. Well, I tell you, it is a privilege to have been at ringside for this fight. The man is extraordinary. And here we have the two fighters coming together. They've both got admiration for each other. They'll put their arms around one another and say, Well done. What a fight. It was a tremendous decision from Richard Steele. Absolutely wonderful refereeing. Ben gave it all. Newbank almost out on his feet. We're going to talk to the new champion now. Gary Newbon's up there. Chris Newbank. Twenty-five fights, twenty-five wins, and the new WBO champion of the world.